Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakar Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. A salutation we are out there that's pushing his word to truth and sincerity. Yo, what I don't understand is why you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans take everything like it's a joke, man. You got some crackpot made a video making mockery of the scriptures. What's he saying? Yo, you can't eat pork. It's unclean. You can't drink water. It's unclean. You can't eat fish. It's unclean. Then he's screwing his face up, laughing and joking. Wicked ass nigga with his bald head and his lineup. Talking shit, man. That's why two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans is gonna get put to death, man. And it's most just, man. The most high is gonna mean it's gonna be justified and put you niggas to death, man. Cause you niggas ain't right in the spirit, man. Two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are a part of the wicked. Your deeds surpass the deeds of of the wicked, which is Esau. Hey, man. Let me say you something, man. The Most High's gonna kill a lot of you motherfuckers, man. The Most High's gonna put two thirds of you niggas to death and two thirds of you goddamn bitches. Hey, man, that time is coming. We at the end of the year of prophecy, and all kind of prophecies are coming to pass, man. Just know this, man. You niggas do not understand anything, man. What you do understand, you understand violence. You don't respect anything but violence. And guess what? The Most High Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, is going to bring violence to that ass, man. This is um, Amos chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people, who are the Most High's people? You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. From the tribe of Judah. Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Ephraim, Zebulon, on down to Issachar, man. You are the people of the Most High, man. But the Most High have a chosen out of that line, man. One third and 144,000 is going to make it. Two thirds is going to be put to death, man. It says, Amos chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Hey, man. It tell you in Psalms 17 and 13, deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword. Esau is the most high's whipping stick. Esau, the so-called white man, is the wicked and is the most high's whipping stick. The most high put Esau, the so-called white man, in his power seat. It says, all the sinners back in Amos chapter 9 verse 10. All the sinners of my people. It says. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which say. The evil shall not overtake. Nor prevent us. What day they talk about? They talk about. There's going to be no martial law. It's not going to be a famine. It's not going to be a race riot. They don't believe in anything that the scriptures. That we bring out. Through the scriptures man. That's why they continue to make mockery of the scriptures. That's why they continue to, to scoff and scorn on the keyboards. That's why they continue to walk past the camp and imagine vain, wicked things in their mind like the Most High cannot read their thoughts. The Most High see him, and the Most High see him everything, and he can read your thoughts, man. So you're not going to escape the judgments of the Most High. So keep on making mockery, man. You niggas out there ain't right in the spirit, man. And the Most High is going to rid you of your life. The Most High is going to snatch your soul out of your body, man. Why? Because you ain't right in the spirit. It's going to be a lot of death and destruction, man, that's going to come upon you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. That's a part of the two-thirds, man. Captivity by the way of concentration camps. Death by the way of famine. Death by the way of pestilence. Death by the way of the sword. 
Death by the way of the guillotine, man. Death and destruction is coming, man. That's why it says in Amos chapter 9, verse 10, all the sinners, those that were sin is the transgression of the law. And the only ones that can transgress the laws of the Most High are the Israelites, man. That's why it says all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, man. You think this evil day ain't going to come? You think the time of Jacob's trouble is not going to come? Amen. It's going to catch you like a thief in the night, man. And it's going to overtake you like a flood. And that's what Esau is going to bring. He's going to bring his, his national guards. He's going to bring his, the Interpol. He's going to bring the UN troops in, in the ghettos like a flood, man. And overtake you wicked niggas, man. Damn, you niggas are wicked, man. It's unbelievable how wicked you niggas are, man. This is Zechariah chapter 14. Slacky. This is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. It says, And it shall come to pass in all the land of America, and wherever you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans are scattered. But this is mainly talking about America, man. Because the bulk of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans are here in America. It says back in Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. And because during the time when the Most High Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, begin to visit the world which he made, he's going to bring death and destruction and deliverance. So that's Triple D's, death, destruction, and deliverance, man. Death and destruction to Esau, two-thirds of you wicked Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, that's part of the two-thirds, and death and destruction to the rest of the nation that dwell in this land, but deliverance to 144,000 and the one-third, man, which are the hopeful elect, which are the elect. I'm about to say I'm a part of that number, man. I'm a part of the one-third. And 144,000 being delivered out here, man. But the rest of you Negroes, Hispanic Native Americans, that's caught up in this land, you're going to die by the hand of this, by the hand of the, you're going to die by the way of famine, by the way of getting shot down by these Gurkha troops, the UN troops, the gear team, be tossed in a concentration camp. You Negroes don't respect nothing. You niggas, I'm going to put it that way, you niggas. You two-thirds don't respect nothing but violence, man. Y'all don't respect nothing but violence. Y'all make mockery of these scriptures. Y'all talk shit. Y'all scoff and you're scorn. Y'all demonize our name. And for all you, you, you niggas that know you're Israelites that, that's going off, like Nathaniel 7, Alazar from the Sakari, y'all gonna get your just due as well, man. Y'all gonna be tossed in with the two-thirds. Because you're hiring this. Y'all don't believe in this word, man. You're out to make money. That's your main goal. Not to edify the hopeful elect, but to make money, man. That's why you're going to get tossed in the loop with the two-thirds, man. Because y'all ain't right in the spirit, man. Niggas is wild, man. Making mockery of the scriptures. You can't eat shrimp. It's unlawful. You can't eat pork. It's unlawful. You can't drink water. It's unlawful. Making a mockery, man. Like shit is a joke, man. Hey, man, when that time come, man, I'm going to rejoice in the most. I start putting you niggas to death, man. I hate you niggas with a deep hatred, man. I hate you niggas with a deep fucking hatred, man. I hate you niggas, man. And I can't wait for the most how to bring that death and destruction. Hey, man. The time has come, man. Where the Most High is going gonna, is gonna to put the spirit on Esau to show his horns. Oh yeah. This is Jeremiah. I'm trying to breeze through these, these scriptures real quick. You know, I'm not going to make this lesson long. This is Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 1. It says, Then said the Lord Yahweh unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me. See, Moses represent the law, man. Samuel represent the prophets. It says, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, 
yet my mind could not be towards this people. Talking about you referring to you two thirds, man. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You Uncle Tom, you coons, you sellouts. Those that sold they soul for fame and fortune, the most I ain't dealing with you. Those that sold out to throw a football, to put a bat in his hand and hit a baseball, to dribble a basketball and toss it in a hoop, the most I ain't dealing with you niggas, man. The most I ain't dealing with you sell out Israelites either, man. Back in um, Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 1, then said the Lord Yahweh unto me, though Moses, who represent the law, and Samuel, stood before, who represent the prophets, stood before me, yet my mind could not be towards this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. Let them go forth to what? To their demise. How did Moses cast us, out of, cast, us, cast us out of his sight? 70 AD. We no longer in the land of Jerusalem. That's how the Mosai cast us out of his sight. Scatters throughout the four corners of the earth, man. But guess what? The Mosai is, is gathering his elect, man. But the rest of the two-thirds is going to come back in the kingdom. The Mosai is raising up the tabernacles of David and gathering his elect, man. But the two-thirds... Like it says in Zechariah, the 13th chapter, and the 8th verse is going to be cut off and put to death, man. Why? Because you like to make mockery. You don't take nothing serious. Everything is a fucking joke. All you want to do is make mirth, laugh, and be clowns. You take nothing serious, man. But what you do respect, you respect violence. And that's what the Most High Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is going to bring. He's going to bring violence to your fucking nigga asses. You understand what I'm saying? The most is gonna bring violence, death and destruction. You niggas ain't seen shit, man. Jacob's trouble is coming in a big way, man. 70 AD is gonna be a cakewalk compared to what the most is gonna bring upon the two-thirds of you niggas, man. Y'all ain't right in the spirit. When I say nigga, I'm talking about all the tribes, man, that ain't right in the spirit, man. Most I'm gonna do away with you motherfuckers, man. And I can't stand you niggas, man. I hate you motherfuckers. With a deep hatred. Making mockery of the scriptures, man. Scoffing and scorning. Your time is coming. This is back in Jeremiah, the 15th chapter, the second verse. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, the two thirds, whither shall we go forth? Then thou shall, shall tell them, and we tell you week in and week out, man, what's going to happen to the two-thirds. Death and destruction, concentration camps, famine, pestilence, guillotine, being, being injected with that awful the microchip. We warn you week in and week out. We warn you to do videos throughout the week, man. We put our lives in jeopardy to teach this world on the highways and the byways. But guess what? You two-thirds don't want to hear nothing. Everything is a joke. But the joke is going to be on, on y'all real soon, nigga. And it shall come to pass, second, um, um, Jeremiah 15, verse 2. And it shall come to pass, if they, if they, if they say unto thee, where shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, such as are for death to death. And such as are for the sword to the sword, man. And such as for the famine to the famine. And such as for the captivity to the captivity. So you Negroes, get prepared to die by famine. To die by the hands of these Gurkha troops, the UN troops, Interpol, the NYPD, and other wicked ass niggas such as yourself from gangbangers. Be prepared to get put to death, man. By the sword, by famine, by pestilence, and get prepared to have your doors kicked in three o'clock in the morning. Your women ravished right in front of you. 
your daughters, if you have any ravaged right in front of you by these Gurkha troops, and you're going to be separated and tossed in different concentration camps, man. How do you like that? Laugh and scorn and scoff about that, man. Talk shit about that. Make a mockery of that. Because when that time comes, it's going to be all business. No more joking. No more laughing. No more scoffing. No more scorning. It's going to be all serious business. And guess what? Those that's a part of the one-third of the hopeful elect, the 144,000, we're going to be laughing, having a good time, drinking it up. We're going to have the, we're going to be laughing at y'all, at the calamity of you niggas, man. And like I said, when I say niggas, I'm talking about the, all the tribes, man. That ain't right in the spirit. That's a part of the two-thirds. It says, And I will appoint, back in um, Jeremiah 15, verse 3, And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord Yahweh, the sword to slay, and the dog to tear. Because guess what, man? A lot of people are going to get put to death by the teeth of wild beasts, man. Hey, man, there's going to be so many bodies laid out in the streets. The Most High is going to have these birds and, and, and these fowls of the air is going to have a feast. They're going to feast on the carcass of you slimy, mangy, slimy, mangy, useless eaters. Especially you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. That's part of the two-thirds, man. It says, And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, and the door of the tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. Hey, Amen. Like it says in the book of Ezra, there's going to be so many dead bodies, man, that they're not going to be buried, man. It's going to be scattered throughout the, you know, throughout the, um, throughout the four corners, man, of, of America. Piles and piles of, of you useless eaters that call yourself niggas. These beasts, these 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 zoo animals, these dogs, these these birds will have a feast in that day, man. Hey, man, you niggas ain't right, man. I can't wait for the most high to put you niggas to death, man. To put you two third niggas to death, by horrible deaths, man. Cause y'all don't know the most high Yahweh. The most high Yahweh and the son Yahweh Shah, they cruel. That's why in the ancient world, they called him Alashaja. Hey, man, y'all going to find out why they called him Alashaja real soon, man. This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4, real quick, before I close it out. I got to get this scripture. Because a lot of you niggas out there think everything is sweet. A lot of you niggas out there think that everything is about joyfulness, playfulness, not taking anything serious. That's why these nations don't, that's why Esau and the rest of these nations don't respect you. You know why? First and foremost, you got curses on you, and you don't take nothing serious, man. Everything is a big joke to you niggas, man. But soon the jokes will be on, 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 on y'all. Keep on scoffing and scorning, man. You niggas ain't right in the spirit, man. And I can't wait for the most high to put y'all to death, man. This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. We all know that Jerusalem is a, Jer Jerusalem is a people before it's, it's a place, man. And right now, Jerusalem consists of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans within the confined wars of these ghettos, man, in America. So wherever the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans dwell, that's Jerusalem. And the, and, and the, Lord, said unto, and the Lord said unto him, which is the angel, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst of that name, that that mark is Thawab. Thawab, which means exempt from judgment. So, the 144,000 and the one third is going to be exempt from judgment, man. But the rest, hmm. It says, 
Set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. What's a part of the abomination that's done in the midst of, man? Homosexuality, lesbianism, that Me Too bullshit movement, transgenderism, these unjust laws that Esau passed to oppress us more and more. Forced acquisitions by these goddamn stink ass bitches, man. GMO foods that we eat. This naming a few of the abominations that's done in the midst of this wicked ass society. That they call America, this wicked ass kingdom. That they call America. Because Esau is in rulership, so that means the whole earth is defiled, man. The whole earth is defiled, man, because of the wickedness of Esau, the so-called white man. It says... And to the others, back in Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 9, verse 5. And to the others, he said in my heaven, Go ye after them through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. So in that time, the Most High is going to put the Spirit on Esau to show his horns and have no mercy upon an old, an old ass hoe, a young hoe. A little kid, a baby, an old ass man, a young man. These, that's that spirit that's gonna be out there is not gonna have no pity in regard either old or young, man. I just read it to you, man. You understand what I'm saying? And it's most just for you niggas out there, man. Because y'all ain't right in the spirit, man. Y'all keep making mockery, man, of the most high's word, man. And see where they get you. It says. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men, which were before the house. That's And before the Most High kill you two-thirds, man, he's going to put to death these sellout Israelites that's teaching contrary to what we learn, man. Nathaniel 7. Or should I say Detective Nathaniel Ray? Alazar from the Sakari? Recall from the GOCC, known as Bubble Eye Blackfish? General Fat Man Gahana, whatever you want to call his name? All you sellouts, man, gonna get put to death, man. The most I gonna begin at his sanctuary, man. The men that know they Israel, they have sold out, man. Taking that purse, man. That Judas purse. Y'all gonna get put to death first. Then the two-thirds. You see what I'm saying? Death and destruction is coming. Niggas. Last scripture before I close it out, man. This is one of my favorite scriptures, man. I'm going to like this scripture. You know why? Because this fits you niggas. That's part of the two-thirds perfectly. Ezekiel 21 verse 9, son of man, prophesy and say, thus saith the Lord, that's what we do, Yahweh, say a sword, a sword is sharpened, and it is also furbish. How that sword is being sharpened? Esau, the so-called white man, practicing, doing mock drills of martial law, such as, um, what is that then again? Such as, um, damn, that escaped my mind real quick. Um, I forgot what this, um, damn. Anyway, it escaped my mind real quick. It, it come back, I'll bring it out. But they having, um, they practicing mock drills on how to lock you Negroes up, torture in the concentration camps, they in the mountains. Doing what they um they do best, man. Sharpening their skills, man. So when they come in like in, so 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 when they come in that in that way of that flood, man, nothing's going to stand in their way. That's like when the flood come and overtake a village or a town, nothing stands in its way. Everything get taken by that flood, and that's what's going to happen. Cause Esau is practicing. They sharpening their swords, man. It says. A sword is sharpened and also furbished. <laughs> that glittering, that gleaming, glittering look when it's sharpened, when the sun hit that blade. 
<laughs> That's right. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Why well, I say, man, it's glittering because that sun is so sharpened that the, when that sun hit it, it's glittering, it's beaming. It's showing a bright reflection, man, that almost could blind you. For that very same purpose, man, for the hour of martial law, for the time of Jacob's trouble. Hey, man, death and destruction is coming. It says, Should we then make mirth? It condemneth the rod of my son as every tree. Because these niggas love making mirth. Everything is a joke, man. But soon, that joke is going to turn to sorrow. Your laughter is going to turn to mourning. Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 11. And I've been given it to the hand. It's like it has been given. And he hath given it to be furbished. That it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to be to give it into the hands of the slayer. Now who's the slayer? It's not Esau, the Lord's whipping stick, but so into Psalms, the 17th chapter, the 13th verse, on down. That sword that is given to the hands of the slayer, the slayer is Esau, the so-called white man. So keep on scoffing and scorning, keep on making mockery of the scriptures. Because you're laughing now, but you're going to mourn later. Remember that, nigga. Any one of you scoffing, scorning ass two-thirds, before you get on that keyboard and start scoffing and scorning, before you make your mock videos, mocking the scriptures, man, just think about this, man. All mourning, all laughter is going to turn to mourning real soon. We're approaching the time of Jacob's trouble. And with that, I'm going to close it out, man. I hope you all came out there that sincere was edified, man. Once again, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Vakak, Dash. And double honors once again to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.